Welcome back. Tropics are definitely heating up here, and we got Franklin, which is a Category 4. Thankfully, not going to be making landfall. That one's got a really nice structure to it. You can see with a well-defined eye on the top right side of your screen. Adalia is taking hold more, more form here as it enters the Gulf of Mexico, which has really, really warm water temperatures in the upper 80s. That's a lot of moisture and energy to work with. So this is expected to be a category three as it makes landfall here in under 24 hours now uh, down near the Gulf of uh, Mexico and off into Florida. Lakeshore is back home. They're gonna get a little more active here tonight. Starting to see some waves pick up, even a kite surfer in Holland and waves here getting a little choppier in South Haven as well as Muskegon. Winds off the lakeshore southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, seeing some gusts already upwards of 25 miles per hour. And notice, even on the other side of the lake, we're seeing some strong gusts as well. So everything on Lake Michigan, uh, not a great day for swimming, even walking on the beach. That sand is going to be flying up into your face as well. Inland areas, wind gusts upwards uh, of about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's expected winds by tonight at 7 o'clock on the lakeshore. Northerly wind by the time we get to this evening after the cold front moves through, and gusts will be upwards of 25 to 30. 30 miles per hour. And even into Wednesday, winds along the lakeshore are going to be pretty strong, but once they move northeasterly, conditions are going to improve. So here's expected today, three to six foot waves this afternoon. That's at the peak once that cold front continues to move to the south and east. We'll see a small craft advisory and beach hazard statement remain in effect until Wednesday morning. Thankfully, we're not looking at a ton of rain once we get to about 5, 6, 7 o'clock. And here's a look at live radar. Some light showers and moisture in Allegan and Van Buren County. A lot of that probably struggling to reach the surface. Uh, the other uh, radar wasn't picking it up just a few minutes ago. Some light moisture in Montcalm County, as well as that main line that we're watching, which uh, is uh, pretty narrow from southern, or southern Muskegon, northern Ottawa, all the way up to central Macosta County. We look at a broad view on the system. Again, it's not a lot of moisture there, just that and far southwest side of the system, but a lot of rain on the east side of the state, northeast up to your Alpena, and then into Canada as well. So it is overcast skies in Montcalm County. Again, doesn't look like it's really raining there, but there may be some light, light mist. And even this future track struggling to pick up on consistent rain here over the next couple of hours, but we will see the development of a few more showers until we get to about six, seven o'clock, and then we're trending pretty dry on through this evening. We won't see a ton of cloud cover. Most of that's going to be well east of US 131, uh, Eaton, Ionia, Barrie, Calhoun counties. Otherwise, a lot more sunshine for Wednesday, and then even into Thursday morning, we're gonna be dealing with more of the same. A lot of sunshine, and then a pretty good warm up as well. Dew points in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Notice a little higher once you get up to where the rain is. Those will track down and uh, really make it a little more humid this afternoon. Temps in the 70s right now in some areas. We'll top out in those mid to upper 70s this afternoon as conditions remain pretty quiet here through Wednesday and Thursday. But then that heat is on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Labor Day in the forecast, we have 90 and mostly sunny skies. Uh, couldn't ask for a better.